Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can set report alerts to notify the user of conditions or information in a report that are outside of the defined norm. Many times in a business you'll want to see these types of reports, which are often called exception reports, because they can alert you to potential problems. Crystal Reports uses report alerts to identify and notify the user when certain specified criteria are met. For example, you could create a report alert which informs the management staff with a custom message when sales for a specified period are under a certain specified value. To create a report alert, choose Report from the menu bar, roll down to Alerts, and then select Create or Modify Alerts from the side menu which appears. This launches the Create Alert dialog box. Click the New button in the dialog box to launch the Create Alert dialog box. And here you must type a name for the alert into the Name text box. Next, you can type the message you want to display when the condition which you will set is met into the Message text box. Note that if you wanted some sort of custom message that made a reference perhaps to values in the actual report, you could click the X2 button to the right of the message text box and create the formula in the formula editor instead. And that message then would be displayed when the criteria is met. Now just click the condition button to invoke the formula editor where you can create the formula that when met will trigger the display of the message which you created. So for example in our report here, let's say we wanted to know when the sum of orders for each employee was less than or equal to 30,000 for the year, that triggered low sales. So we would click the Save and Close. And also note that the Enabled checkbox is checked, which indicates that the alert is on right now. So if we click OK in the Create Alerts dialog box, you can see that Low Sales is enabled. If we just double click on it in this box to edit it, you can uncheck the Enabled checkbox and click OK to temporarily deactivate or disable an alert that you've created. And that saves you having to delete the alert. You can always select it and then click the Edit button at the right to bring up the Edit Alert dialog box again where you can enable it by checking the Enabled checkbox again and clicking OK. You can also select an alert which you've created but no longer need by selecting the name of the alert in the Create Alerts dialog box and then clicking the Delete button at the right to delete the selected alert. You can also click the New button to create as many additional alerts as you feel you need for the report. And whenever you're finished, you can just click the Close button to return to the report. When you next preview the data or refresh the report data, any alerts will be triggered if they meet the criteria which you specified. They appear in their own Report Alerts dialog box where you can see the name of the alert and the message which was entered. In this dialog box, you can select the name of the alert which was triggered and then click the View Records button in the lower left corner to view the data records which triggered the report alert. So here are the people who made less than 30000 for the year. When you're finished viewing that data, you can close that preview to return back to the report alerts. And just close the report alerts dialog box by clicking the close button to return back to the report preview. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.